All right, guys, it's uh, Wednesday. If you're in uh, Algebra 2B, it's Thursday. Just change the 9th to the 10th if you're in Algebra 2B. Um, we're going to continue on with the even odd functions and kind of get into the little bit more difficult, uh, confusing types of questions that may arise. Uh, so let's begin. Um, we're just focused on algebraically. Um, what to do in the situation here. So let's begin. So our first example is uh, f of x equals x times the square root of the quantity 1 minus x squared. Now, there's a lot of hype about when you get into radicals and, and radical equations. And algebraically, you would think, oh, well, I could just plug in negative x and replace it. But there's a problem. Um, the problem is the radical sign is very misleading in a lot of ways. Um... So I want to kind of go through and help you deal with, you know, how to deal with it, all right? Um, first thing I would expect you to be able to recognize is inside the radical is a difference of perfect squares. So I want to rewrite that as 1 minus x, 1 plus x, okay? That'd be the first thing I would hope that you would recognize in this whole problem. Um, and the next thing is try replacing x with negative x into every x in the equation. Now what happens is, and I didn't do a good job of this, is I went ahead and plugged negative x here in. And then 1 plus negative x here so there's all that now what happens is that sign changes so I know it's not even so the day old question even odd or neither I know it's not even because one thing changed now it's just deciding is it odd or is it neither and this is where the gray area comes into play uh We'll keep the radical there. I have 1 minus negative x, which is 1 plus x. Well, that changed technically from here to here, right? And then 1 plus negative x over here, that's 1 minus x. So technically, that changed here and here. They just kind of switched. But there's a lot of hubbub about this and I came to the conclusion that you know what it did change the sign no matter how I wrote the problem originally so and the answer to this question is it is odd the way I look at it is x is multiplying this right here Okay, this x, this is the x I'm talking about. That x, the one I just highlighted. That is multiplying the whole radical. Now my thing is, is if its sign changes, which it did, I could just go by that. Now, a lot of people frown on that. But I've never had it proven wrong to me, and I've been using it all these years. So, I would say it's safe to assume that, even graphically, if I was to graph it, you would get that odd function, okay? So, you know, if you don't believe me, you can punch it in on the calculator and see it graphically. But just by looking at that first x, and when I change its sign, what happened? Okay, I got the exact opposite. Well, it's multiplying all this other stuff. 
So, of course, everything's going to change the sign just because that one number. So my philosophy is if the first guy is an X multiplying a quantity, which it is, I want to group it right here. I'll group all this. I even changed the sign. I don't think that matters. Because negative X is multiplying that whole big thing, that whole radical sign. So picture the the square root being just one number. And that make I I feel confident in saying that that alone is going to make it an odd function graphically. Now I've graphed it and it and it's odd, so there you go. Um hit pause and try it and see what you think, but I'm going to Move on to the next question here. Well, in example two, <laughs> I didn't do much of a difference here. Uh, this seems to always get people. Um, algebraically, okay, if I use the same philosophy as I did with example one, and I group the radical, it's just, it's just one quantity, but it's being multiplied by x squared. That's the only thing I'm really going to focus in on, is plugging in and replacing x with negative x. Alright, so if I just focus in on that part, I'll put negative 1x squared. Well, that gives me positive 1x squared. That's the same thing as this. The sign didn't change. So I know it's not strictly odd. Now it's even even or neither. And if, if my philosophy is correct, and I am 99.9% .9 sure graphically it works, then it's safe to say that it's going to be even. You can almost ignore the radical that's being multiplied by this 1x squared, okay? That 1x squared is multiplying that radical, that quantity. Uh, you could graph it on a calculator, you know, use the parentheses, and it, and Mr. Teeters will be able to help you with that, but you would see a symmetric... For reflection along the y axis and it'd be a perfect mirror image so you could graph it um I don't think you'd have to though um there's a there's a couple different ways you could probably look at this algebraically um I know some people I'm just gonna go to the side. And this might just strike up a good discussion between whatever you guys. You know, I could take that original function and rewrite it as times. I'm going to use brackets here. The quantity 1 minus x squared raised to the 1 half power. Now you're getting into exponents. I've seen a lot of people do that. Um, is it necessary? Eh. Uh, you know, you, you can do it. Um, and you can also look at it like this. If I expanded that out. Okay, well, you know what? Let me uh, Let me just get on a fresh new page here. I'm going to write down what I had. F of X equals... I, th I just think this is interesting and something that... Uh, probably try to set the record straight in my mad thinking. Okay. Again, this is a difference of squares. So I'm going to focus in on that. And uh, kind of expand it out a little bit. Okay, and we'll see what really happens with this, this function here. 
even though I know this is even, I want to kind of really show you what happens here. So, different squares, that's going to be 1 minus x, 1 plus x. That's something I definitely expect you to recognize. Then we have, what else can I do in parentheses? Well, I could definitely FOIL. But, then again, <laughs> you're going to end up with the same thing. So, I, I don't think FOILing is really going to matter. Um, you know, you could do this. Okay. And then this to the one and a half power. All right. And, you know, regardless, you're algebraically, you're still going to end up with this even function. I, I don't, I don't think there's one easy way other than looking at this guy right here. Cause guess what? He's multiplying one of these other two guys which could change everything so you know I'll, I'll leave it at that um you know we we could uh really <laughs> we could really get into the uh logistics of this but i think graphically it'll work um you would see it I think algebraically, if you just plug into the x square and replace it with native x, it'll still work. Uh, other than that, guys, uh, get to it, and uh, I will be seeing you soon.